The number of unsolved homicides in Colombia has grown in the last two years. This is a problem we highlighted in a special report two months ago. Tonight, ABC 17's Lucas Geiser shows us what the department is doing to try to tackle this issue. Unsolved homicides in Colombia have tripled since 2016. A records request I made shows that only three homicides in the last 20 years went unsolved before last year. Now the city has at least nine open cases. It's not, it's not a secret that the unsolved homicides from, from this year, the nexus is drugs and gangs. That's the nexus we're working on. It's it's pretty obvious to us that's what those homicides are related to. Lieutenant Paul Dickinson leads the department's criminal investigations division, a unit understaffed when compared to cities of a similar size. The 12-member team handles cases that patrol officers can't immediately solve. Each detective averages 36 cases, with some investigators taking on more than 70 cases. The robbery and homicide division has three detectives, but will soon have a fourth. This we thought this would be a good example, a good time to put some resources at an issue that needs looking at. That detective will specifically look at cases older than a year that haven't gotten many tips. That lack of manpower at CID, Dickinson says, makes it harder to dig into those cases. That certainly is a uh, paperwork intensive job of going through the files and seeing what leads were, could be re-looked um, at. But Dickinson says it's not just about having the staff to do it. The tips or leads the community calls in play a vital role in solving crimes. So that is more important in your mind to really successfully getting an arrest is the leads rather than having the manpower. Absolutely. You, you, you need, yeah, you need the data to crunch, the information to go through, to sift through, to make the arrest, to make the case. Mm -hmm. And just because you have five detectives working a case doesn't increase the amount of information that's coming in for that case. It's what makes the community outreach unit at CPD so important to Dickinson. By earning the trust of people in Columbia, the department can better its chances of getting a tip that breaks a case. And there's people out there in the community with leads that are taking a conscious decision not to bring forward that information. The new detective positions at CPD still puts them well below the average, which is 30 sworn detectives for departments of a similar size to Columbia. That shortage concerns Councilman Ian Thomas, who tells me, quote, that it continues to be my hope that the city and CPD, in partnership with the community, will adopt community-oriented policing as our public safety philosophy and then reach consensus on suitable staffing levels and to fund it. Those new detective positions won't be filled immediately, though. Dickinson tells me the department will be focusing on several vacancies in their patrol division to start. Reporting here in Columbia, Lucas Geisler, ABC 17 News. The CPD says it'll also add a detective position in the child sex crimes unit.